Hi, I'm Random Trashy and welcome to the channel. I do love getting my hands on new pieces of kit, especially from brands that I've never come across before. Ferro Concepts is a brand that is always thrown around within the Airsoft and Milsim community. I've got some friends of mine that run Ferro Concepts kit and I've got a very good friend of mine, Richie, who absolutely swears by him. He's got a full slicks to set up. We were speaking about it recently and when I was having a chat with the guys over at tacticalkit.co.uk, they said that they would send me one out with a ton of accessories for me to test and review. So I've got it here, I've got the slicks that in multicam. Now I do have a lot of accessories on this, you are not going to get it like this out of the box. Um, the Slickster essentially comes just with a front and rear plate bag. They don't come with plates in, they come empty, so they do look a little bit loose and small, but by the time you've got a plate in here, uh, it does fill it out really, really nicely. As you can see, it holds its shape really well. Um, one of the things that I will say to you from the very off, that if you are looking to do a full length mill sim, you're looking to be out on the ground for 24, 48 hours, this may not be the setup for you. And the reason that I would say that is out of the box, doesn't come with any protection from the shoulders. Um, if you are gonna load this up with say six, eight, ten magazines, radio, um, or any type of pyro or anything like that, then you will find that there's going to be a lot of weight over these shoulders and you may want to consider um, some padding. Now, the good thing about Ferro Concepts is they do every single accessory under the sun. You can attach swift clips to this, so it means that you can run uh, setups like the Hay Strategic DC3R across the front of here. You could run the Pathfinder on here. You can run all sorts of accessories on the front by attaching the two swift clips up here. It means that you can have the swift clip up on setup. In here, I've got a triple mag uh, setup kangaroo front flap, and I've also got the Ferro Concepts Kydex inserts in here. And then on the bottom, we've got the Ferro Concepts dangler. So there is a lot of accessories on this vest. If you are going to go for this setup, it may be a little bit pricey but you'll definitely get some great quality from it and it is a very lightweight setup if you are after something to go out and do your training in if you're doing range training also if you're doing any type of milsim airsoft training or you're doing the short day games maybe 24 hours in this you may get away with it if you are running some accessories or a bandolier belt or something like that so it's a very nice piece of kit, it's very very lightweight and there really isn't that much to it. There's some great accessory space around the side, as you can see you've got these bungee side pouches and as you can tell by the loops, the bottom and the opening at the top, you can place accessories in there. So if you wanted to put magazines in there, radios, um, you know, flashbangs, anything like that, they will fit in these side spaces. One of the great things about this vest is how compact it is. It really does feel nice and neat. If you do want to throw this in a backpack, if you just want to take this out on, the, out on the ground, if this is going in a range box or something like that, it's absolutely perfect. It's very, very easy to get in and out of. It doesn't take any uh, real strain or stress getting this thing on and off and getting it adjusted is nice and easy. The shoulder straps obviously are just Velcro. If you do want to adjust your overall shoulder strap length, then you can just lift that up um, and it's very simple to do like many others. It does give you a real slick low profile hence the name it was really really comfy to get onto the body what I'm going to quickly do now is just lift up this front flap again this is an accessory on the front of here it will come with this as natural uh, out or, or straight out the box it's not going to come with this accessory panel on the front just going to get this on um, and show you just bring that round underneath um, and get this nice and tight on the body pull that over, flap this front flap down. As you can see, it sits very, very nice, very square across the front. Um, the good thing about this is it is very, very narrow. So if you are gonna put plates in here, even if they're dummy plates, you are gonna have to make sure that they are either a swimmer or shooter's cut for them to fit in here. If you have the standard dummy plates, they may not fit. So that is just one thing to be aware of if you do run, you know, like hard plastic dummy plates, you may have to cut the edges off for them to fit in here. Other than that, it's very, very nice on the body. It's extremely comfortable, very low profile on the back, which I do like. Now, just lifting this up a little bit, um, you can see you've got your accessory panel across the front. Um, if you did want to run more mags than this, this is a three magazine setup, then you are able to do that by uh, Molly and some more uh, attachments across the front. Now, I wouldn't want to run too much on this rig to be completely honest if I was running this setup myself it would be for a day game something where I'm taking four or five magazines out onto the ground and some basic accessories tucked in the side I wouldn't want to load this up too heavy it's a very comfortable piece of kit the material that's used on this is extremely nice as well that all of the stitching all of the small detailing even the stitching inside the uh, plate carrier itself is done to a very very high degree um, of, of quality so I'm just going to whip this off um, and show you through just so some of the underside of it as well and inside is very lightly padded on the back panel so if I just open this up I'm going to stand to one side I'm just going to turn this inside out as you can see there there is this kind of hex mesh 
um, on the inside of here just to make it a little bit more comfortable. You can see some of the detailing in the stitching across the bottom there. It is a comfortable rig, but it's not a massively complex one, um, and it's not something that uh, if you are going to wear this out on the ground, that uh, it's going to cause you any issues with malfunctions or anything like that. It is fairly standard pretty basic as you can see this is the front panel i've just pulled the triple set off across the front you've got this large um velcro area here that you would have your straps come around and do this up so if you are going to get the rig this is how it's going to come out of the box like this without the dangler on the bottom now the dangler is something that i've seen a lot of people running recently um, and i'm probably going to hang on to this one myself um, just because i really like the idea of running something like this on the front it's absolutely perfect for pyro speed loaders anything you need to get to nice and quick you know, even if you're taking a knee, sometimes some of the pockets and attachment areas can be quite difficult to get to. The dangler is a fantastic piece of kit. Nice big zip across the front, lots of bungee retention areas in here. See, so you've got some the back of the uh, Velcro in there if you want any um, attachments or anything. And then also you've got some nice Velcro, um, sorry, rubberized loops in there as well. So a really nice setup from Ferro Concepts. Definitely not something that I would consider taking out on a long ground, you know, on a long game or out on the ground for long periods of time. But for day games or for a real quick setup, anything where you're doing smash and grabs, training, CQB work, these are absolutely perfect. If you do have any questions about this Ferro Concept Slick Start or the accessories that I have mentioned, please feel free to drop a comment in the box below. If you do want to go and pick up anything from Ferro Concepts, they do a massive range of accessories. Now this could be swift clip setups, they do back assaulters panels, they do all types of accessories please feel free to head over to tacticalkit.co.uk check out the ferro concepts line from over there again any questions in the box below other than that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all soon